In this video, we will show how to deploy 40 Authenticator in AWS. Prior to the deployment, we will create and configure a Virtual Private Cloud, or VPC, that our 40 Authenticator instance will be deployed into. In this scenario, we will create a VPC with a single public subnet, attach the VPC to the Internet Gateway, and create a routing table to allow all outbound traffic from the 40 Authenticator to use the selected Internet Gateway. From the AWS Management Console, under Networking and Content Delivery, click VPC. We will start by creating a new VPC. Click Your VPCs, and then click Create VPC. Provide a name for the VPC, and specify an IPv4 address range for the VPC. Click Create. Note the ID of the VPC that was created. This will be needed later when launching the 40 Authenticator VM. Next, we will create a subnet and associate it to the VPC we created. Click Subnets and then Create Subnet. Provide a name for the subnet. Select the newly created VPC. and specify an IPv4 address range for the subnet. Click Create. We want to ensure that our 40 Authenticator instance is assigned a public IP address when deployed. To do this, we will modify the auto-assign IP setting for the subnet. In the list of subnets, we will locate the subnet we created and select it. Under Actions, Click Modify Auto-Assign IP Settings. Enable Auto-Assign Public IPv4 Address, and then click Save. We will now create an Internet Gateway and attach it to the VPC. Click Internet Gateways, and then click Create Internet Gateway. Provide a name for the Internet Gateway, and then click Create. In the list of Internet Gateways, select the newly created Internet Gateway. Then click Actions and click Attach to VPC. From the VPC drop-down list, select the 40 Authenticator VPC and then click Attach. The Internet Gateway is now attached to the VPC. We will now add a route to allow all outbound traffic from the 40 Authenticator to use the selected Internet Gateway. Click Route Tables. From the list, locate and select the route table associated to the 40 Authenticator VPC. Click the Routes tab, and then click Edit Routes. Click Add Route. In the Destination field, type 0.0.0.0/0. Under Target, select Internet Gateway, and then click the Internet Gateway to select it for this route. Click Save Routes. We have created and configured a new VPC that will be used for our 40 Authenticator VM instance. Now that our VPC is configured, we can proceed to launch the 40 Authenticator VM from the AWS Marketplace. Navigate to the AWS Marketplace and search for 40 Authenticator. Click Fortinet 40 Authenticator, bring your own license. Review the details of the 40 Authenticator image, and then click Continue to Subscribe. Click Continue to Configuration. Confirm the Fulfillment options, Software Version and Region, and then click Continue to Launch. For EC2 Instant Type, select an Instant Type that supports your deployment scenario. In this example, we will select T2 Micro solely for demonstration purposes. Under VPC Settings, locate the ID of the VPC created earlier and select it. Under Security Group Settings, we will create a new security group based on the seller settings. Provide a name and description for the security group 
and then click Save. Finally, select a key pair that will be used to access the 40 Authenticator instance after it is launched. In this scenario, a key pair for 40 Authenticator has already been created and downloaded. Select the existing 40 Authenticator key pair from the drop down list. The instance is now ready to launch. Click Launch. The instance of 40 Authenticator is successfully deployed on EC2. The deployment process can take several minutes to complete. We can view the status of the deployment process from the EC2 console. Note the IPv4 public IP on the 40 Authenticator instance. We will use this to connect to 40 Authenticator. To connect to 40 Authenticator, we require the IP address of the instance, the key pair, and an SSH client. In this demonstration, we will connect to 40 Authenticator using PuTTY, a free SSH client. Note that PuTTY does not support the private key format provided by AWS. Before connecting to 40 Authenticator, we must convert the private key to the format required by PuTTY. This can be done with a tool called PuTTYGen, which is included with PuTTY. The private key conversion was performed prior to this demonstration. Open PuTTY. Under Category, expand Connection, SSH, and then click Auth. Click Browse, and then locate and select the 40 Authenticator key pair. Under Category, click Session. For host name, type admin at, followed by the public IP address of the 40 Authenticator instance noted earlier from the EC2 console. Ensure port is set to 22, and then click Open. PuTTY displays a security alert that asks whether you trust the host that you're connecting to. Click Yes. The PuTTY SSH terminal window opens. After successfully connecting to the 40 Authenticator VM, it is recommended to change the default admin password. Type execute restore admin and then provide a new password. To enable access to the 40 Authenticator web GUI, we must set the public IP of the 40 Authenticator instance as an allowed host. Type config system global, then set allowed host and provide the public IP of the 40 Authenticator instance. Type end. We can now connect to the 40 Authenticator web GUI. In a web browser, navigate to https colon slash slash, followed by the public IP address of the 40 Authenticator instance. When you connect, your web browser might display a security warning related to the certificate not being trusted. This warning is normal. Verify and accept the certificate and proceed to connect. Log in with the username admin and the new administrator password that was selected earlier. We are now connected to the 40 Authenticator web GUI. We have successfully deployed 40 Authenticator in AWS. Note that 40 Authenticator runs in evaluation mode until it is licensed. Thank you for watching.